the family and home were nice. I used that to calm my mind every time I felt paranoid. I washed my face with some water, and went back into my room. On the bed was another letter, my heart rate raised as I remembered that my stay wasn't free, I was a staff like everyone else. I opened up the letter finding details of another divine intervention, Babel was my department, and this time, they were trying to link their surrounding constellations. They had grown. The words my home planet, escaped my lips, and I got sentimental. The next morning came soon after, and I made up my mind to decline the job and get transferred. I got dressed, and went out with all the courage I could muster only to meet a royal procession prepared for me. I was a hero, one of the highest ranking officials and they loved me, how could I refuse? They weren't that truly chivalrous in their methods. As I walk up to the portal that was obviously created for me, I turned one more time and thanked them with a smile, doubting if I would even return. The world was bigger but not that much different. We simply had space stations now. A bummer. Memories flooded into my head of my current identity, and I began once again, to record time for one of the greatest minds. I got a job as a space pilot, and joined the engineering supply team then got close to one of the official launches. And as usual, it was easy and planned out for me. I got dressed early, excited as usual, and rushed to join the officials who were to announce the opening of Babel, and eagerly stood there with them. Waiting. I was there once again as my job came close to another end, and I remembered, that I had resolved myself not to fall into its clutches again. But failed. I had grown fond of him, perhaps. I thought, 